Hello and welcome to Hebert Performance on Technology, Tuesday. Today, we want to introduce the Flex tool. I have already connected it here. We are going to dive right in. To the screen recording. Yes, but I need to go back for a moment. So, here we have, if you have a full package, then we have the vehicle list, help desk here, and uh, my data logs. My data logs are there for you to log drives. Help desk is the support. If you have any problem, like you can't read a vehicle, or, or, or then you can make inquiries there. We will go into the WAC list, and then I'll show you how to operate it and how to do things. Here we simply have a vehicle selection as it is actually normal in almost all tools. We will also simply choose a BMW again because it is actually a common vehicle. We can select, we'll just choose uh, one series BMW and here on the right you can see what control units are installed in the respective vehicle. Then you can see here, there you see the transmission, the respective transmission control unit, and of course the engine control unit. These are then the various control units installed, and you can simply view them here on the right. If you are looking for something specific like EDC, front in. Sequence six, yes. And then all the control units you need will be listed for you. Up here you have a search bar. Here we have an EDC 17, C. Oh, here is an EDC 16, but I wanted an EDC 17 here. EDC 17. And here we have the various protocols available. For instance, we can read OBD, bench, boot, and data logger. When we then choose OBD, we can hear we must have OBD connected, ignition always on. And then we can press connect here. And then everything is displayed here, whether it worked or not. Read. In this case, it's either a virtual read or a normal read. I believe with Flex, you can even vary how you want to read. Whether you can do a virtual read or a normal read, you can't do that with AutoTuner, for example. There, there is, to my knowledge, or rather, I have always only seen it this way, that only one option is available. If virtual read is available via OBD, you only have the option to read a control unit normally via bench. There are a few older control units, I believe ME9, regarding Mercedes. They read very slowly, and then you press normal read. And then it asks you, are you sure you want to read normally? But we are the ones, we digress. We stay here with Flex. Yes, that's quite normal, self-explanatory. If you then want to bench a car, you click on bench. And then you can use manual here to see how you need to connect. Then you look exactly at the pin and then it says, okay, for example, you need to connect the yellow one here. You need to connect it here in port five, in port B. It says port B up here. Then it says port number five there. You then connect the yellow cable and connect it here to pin, what is it? Finch, you, to pin, 56, 56, right, wait, find seat. Well, then you need to connect this here and to pin 56 on the control unit. And then with the other cables as well. Then you just need to be a bit careful to plug into port A or port B, but it's almost self-explanatory in parts. And if you then go to manuals here and manually connect, no, here on this one, sorry, on this one, then uh, it will also be displayed in full screen and not in windowed mode. But that's a minor detail. Can you do it manually like that? Ah, uh, no, okay, okay. So, if you want to book a car, then you also need to click here, then the license will be checked and you will find it here, either where you need to enter a pin, you will find it here. Or you. Therefore, that was a mistake. You could then go to connector manually here and you can switch between the two minis, which they are currently using today. So, but not again. 
Here, we also uh, see statistics. And here you can even see how much time it takes. Here you can even see how long the reading variant or the writing variant takes and how often the car is done via OBD or via bench. Here you can also clearly see that bench is at the top. Did he just scream shout? Yes, we are just in a normal workshop day. Let's take another look at how we can read a transmission control unit. For that, we also need to go to F20, facelift. And here you can see, for example, if multiple control units are available, how it would look. And here you would simply select the transmission. Here, you need to check which of the two control units is currently installed. But you will find that out when you click on one of the two via OBD and at the latest during identification. If you click on connect here, it will tell you if it's wrong that you need to select a different protocol. And at the latest, you simply go to the protocol and then click on connect and then you can proceed. Eat. Yes. And we even have, for example, client, etc. Is you can, you cannot completely delete error memory, read, but at least delete. I believe we have that available here as well. What do we have here? The CAS or control element. The control panel here is called CAS Flex 2. How do I keep coming up with CAS 2? Flex 2. Damn. In the packages, you will see the reading supplement and address your Rift or Ataboka. And that means CAS 2, the control panel. With CAS 1, everything looks a bit different again. If I were you, I would simply work with the CAS Flex 2 that uh, is also a bit clearer. We can quickly go into the settings here. Here you can still make a few settings. Expand displays over basic standard and uh, advanced. I have to say, I don't work that much. But look, with basic, I personally find it already. Thank you very much. Clear. You can work a bit faster. Then you can select what you want to read more quickly here than if you do it over standard. Advanced would probably be quite similar. There you only have the control unit definition. It goes faster then. If you know, okay, in the vehicle and EDC, EDC 1631 is installed, then you just need to go to example here. BMW also has it installed. Go to BMW and scroll here to EDC, then enter the EDC. Sixteen. My God, enter 31 here and then you have it here. Then you can select the first one directly, so the model is unnecessary in most cases. If you are sure that this is the car, then yes. Flex reads the file a bit differently than, for example, Autotuner. The name of a Flex file looks like this. For example, this is what a read Autotuner file looks like. And this is what a read Flex file looks like. So you don't see any designation of what kind of car it is. Accordingly, it doesn't really matter how you'd unload your car over which protocol. The main thing is that the control unit is correct. So if you now enter EDC 1631 again, it doesn't matter whether you unload the car, so it's via E90 or E46 or E60. It doesn't matter. The main thing is that the control unit you selected is correct and is also installed in the vehicle. As a rule, this actually applies to all reading tools. Then it just gets a bit strange with the names, but as a rule, this applies to all reading tools that uh, only the correct engine control unit is selected. And of course, the correct protocol via the manufacturer. So if now, just as a simple example, EDC 17 c fight, if it were available at VIG and at BMW, then you must select the respective correct car manufacturer. Things like Skoda and VW don't matter because they are both part of the VW group. But when they are different groups like BMW, Audi, or any French brand, then you must go into the correct category. And if you want to read a French car, you can't do it, for example, through BMW, Red. It might work with Lock, but I wouldn't try it because it could lead to reading errors. I hope the video was informative. 
enough. If you still lack any information regarding the Flex tools or other tools, we have a Tech Tuesday playlist. We'll insert it up here. If you watch this video series, you definitely won't miss any information. If you have any requests for what we should show in the future, information you are missing, then feel free to write it in the comments and we will definitely implement it in the future. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Leave a thumbs up if you really liked it. And we'll see you in the next video.